Hello guys, welcome back and welcome kung bago ka sa channel na to. So yung topic naman natin yun is solving quadratic equations by factoring. So dito ay apply nyo lang yung uh, natutunan nyo sa factoring. Uh, factoring by GCF, factoring difference of two squares, factoring perfect square trinomial and uh, factoring general trinomials. So kailangan alam nyo yan kasi uh, gagamitin natin siya dito sa solving quadratic equations by factoring. So for example, Sample number 1, uh, solve the quadratic equation by factoring. So, x squared plus 7x is equal to 0. So, gagamitin natin dito is uh, common monomial factoring or factoring with GC. So, yung common factor nila is x. So, labas lang natin yung x. So, x squared divided by x, x na lang. Plus, 7x divided by x, 7 na lang. So, equal to 0. So, dahil yung product ng dalawang factors na to is 0, so, by 0 property multiplication, therefore, uh, isa sa kanila is equal to 0, isa sa mga factors na to, or both silang equal sa 0. Okay? Kasi any number multiplied to 0 is equal to 0. Okay? So, gagawin lang natin, equate lang natin yung mga factors natin sa 0. So, x is equal to 0, and or x plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, ganun lang simple. So, yung mga factors natin, in-equate lang natin sa 0. Okay, yung x and x plus 7. Then, solve for x na natin. So, dito, so x is equal to 0. So, ito na yung isa nating solution. Then, ito, x plus 7 is equal to 0. Transpose lang natin yung 7, ay yung negative siya. So, therefore, x is equal to negative 7. So, ito na yung sagot natin. So, ito yung mga solution ng ating quadratic equation. Then, for number 2, uh, solve the quadratic equation by factoring. x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So, ano naman dito yung gagamitin natin? Difference of 2 squares naman. Okay? Perfect square yung x squared. Then, yung 25 perfect square din. That is 5 squared. So, yung factor lang nitong difference of 2 squares natin is square root ng first term, so square root ng square root ng x squared, that is x, then plus minus square root ng second term. So square root ng 25, that is 5. And then, gamitin ulit natin yung zero property of multiplication. So equate lang natin sa zero yung mga factors ng ating quadratic equation. So x plus 5 is equal to zero, and or x minus 5 is equal to 0. Then, solve for x na lang. So, transpose lang natin yung 5 magiging negative. So, dito rin, transpose din natin yung negative 5, magiging positive naman siya. So, therefore, yung solutions na ating quadratic equations are x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to positive 5. Okay? Then, for example, number 3, solve the quadratic equation by factoring x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So, ano naman to? This is perfect square trinomial. So, para natin malalaman. So, perfect square yung first term natin, x squared. Then, perfect square din yung last term, 16, that is 4 squared. And then, yung square root ng first term natin, that is x, times the square root ng last term, that is 4, then times 2. So, x times 4, that is 4x, times 2, 8x. So, equal siya sa middle term. So, perfect square trinomial siya. So, ganun lang. So, nire-review lang natin. No? So, natutunan nyo naman to sa factoring. Then, factor na natin tong perfect square trinomial. So, yung factor lang nito is square root ng first term, copy the sign of the middle term, and then square root of the last term. So, square root of 16, that is 4. And then, square root. Okay, equal to 0. And then, extracting the square roots na. So, cancel na yung squared, maging x plus 4 is equal to 0. And then, transpose lang natin, maging negative yung 4. So, ito na yung final answer. So, yung solution sa ating quadratic equation is, x is equal to negative 4. Then, for number 4, uh, solve the quadratic equation by factoring x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. 
Ito ko dahil hindi naman siya perfect square trinomial. So, gagamitin natin dito is uh, factoring general trinomials. So, ano yun? Hanapin lang natin yung factors ng negative 14 kung saan yung sum niya is negative 5. So, lista lang natin yung mga factors niya. So, that is negative 14 times 1, 14 times negative 1, negative 7 times 2, 7 times negative 2. So, saan dito yung may sum na negative 5? So, ito. Negative 7 and 2. So, negative 7 times 2, negative 14. Negative 7 plus 2, negative 5. So, ito yung factors natin. So, x minus 7 times x plus 2. Okay? Equal to 0. Factoring general trinomials. And then, zero property na. Equate lang natin itong mga factors as 0. x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? And then, Transpose, magiging positive yung 7. Then dito, transpose, magiging negative yung uh, 2. So, ito na yung uh, sagot natin. So, ito na yung solutions ng ating quadratic equation. And for the last example natin, uh, solve the quadratic equation by factoring. 4x squared plus 15x plus 9 is equal to 0. So, dito, gagamitin natin is factoring general trinomials. Uh, where is greater than 1. Okay? So, trial and error lang tayo dito. So, factor muna natin tong 4. That is 4 times 1, 2 times 2. Then, factor ng 9. That is 9 times 1 and 3 times 2. And then, so, trial and error tayo dito. So, try muna natin si 4 and 1. So, 4x, 1x or x. Then, si 9 and 1. So, plus 9 plus 1. Okay? And then, multiply lang natin, outer times outer, 4x times 1, that is 4x, then inner times inner, and times x, that is 9x. So, pag i-add natin to, 13x siya. So, hindi siya equal sa middle term natin, so, hindi ito yung factors ng trinomial. So, try natin yung ibang factor. So, na-try na natin yung 9 times 1, try naman natin yung 3 times 3. So, palitan lang natin ng and then, outer times outer ulit, 4x times 3, that is 12x, plus inner times inner. So, 3 times x, that is 3x. So, add natin yan, 12x plus 3x, that is 15x. So, equal na siya. So, therefore, uh, ito yung factors ng ating uh, trinomial. Okay? So, equate to 0 lang natin. And then, 0 property ulit. So, equate lang natin sa 0 yung mga factors. So, 4x plus 3 equals to 0. And, or, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then, solve for x lang. So, dito, so, transpose natin yung 3, magiging negative. Then, divide tayo ng 4. So, cancel na dito, x is equal to negative 3 4. Okay? Then, yung sa panating solution, transpose lang natin yung positive 3, magiging negative 3. So, therefore, x is equal to negative. So, ito na yung mga solutions ng ating quadratic equations. Comment below guys kung nakatulong yung video ito. Thank you for watching and huwag nyo kalimutang ilike.